invocation and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Tonight's invocation is being offered by Council Member Phil Claiborne. Would you pray with me, please? Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight uh, thanking you for the blessings of uh, health and well-being. Uh, thank you, Lord, for uh, the beautiful and wonderful city that we live in and for the privilege that we have uh, as members of this council to, uh, to be involved within the affairs of the city and the people who live here. And so we ask your blessings tonight on our proceedings and all the decisions that we make. And we ask that in all that we do, we might bring glory to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Without objection, we'll suspend the calling of the roll and ask the clerk to record the names of the members present throughout the meeting. Is there a motion to adopt the minutes of our March 3rd meeting? We have a motion and a second. Without objection, the minutes will stand approved as written. Madam Clerk, are there any messages from the mayor? There are no messages from the mayor. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Harmon. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Um, is this the elections? All right. The Rules Confirmations and Public Elections Committee met uh, this evening to consider the appointment or the election, the nomination, of uh, Mr. Ed Cole to the Cheatham County Rail Authority and the nomination of Councilmember Phil Claiborne to the Nashville and Eastern Rail Authority. The committee recommended their nomination, five in favor, none opposed, and I would move their election by acclamation. We, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The motion passes. Congratulations, Mr. Cole and Council Member Claiborne. <laughs> Councilman Harmon. Thank you, Vice Mayor. The Rules, Confirmations, and Public Elections Committee continued our meeting this evening and met to consider the appointment of Ms. Barbara Knott to the Metro Action Commission, the reappointment of Ms. Colleen Curtis, the appointment of Ms. Robbie Melton, and the reappointment of Ms. Jackie Schrago to the CATV Special Committee, and the appointment of Ms. Christina Karpenyak to the Board of Zoning Appeals. All those were recommended approval, five in favor, none opposed, and I would move their approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Please stand when I call your name and remain standing. Barbara Knott, Colleen Curtis, Robbie Melton, Jackie Shrago, and Christina Karpenek. On behalf of the entire Metropolitan Council, thank you so much for volunteering your time and giving us your expertise. Thank you very much. <clears throat> We're now at resolutions on public hearing. Council Member Westerheim. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. I would move to open the public hearing. Uh, we have RS 2015-1403 exempts Margo Cafe and Bar located at 1017 Woodland Street from the minimum distance requirements for obtaining a beer permit. Please raise your hand if you're in support. Thank you. Please raise your hand if you're in opposition. Seeing no one in opposition, does anyone in support wish to speak? P uh, the public hearing is closed. Council Member Westerholm. Uh, thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. I believe this, I need to get a committee report. Council Member Purdue. Public safety approved 4-0. Thank you. Councilman Westerheim. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. With that, I'll move approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. 
Uh, Councilman Harmon, um, you have guests this evening. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I would like uh, everyone to welcome Troop 285 from District 26. They are here this evening for their citizenship in the community badge, and we'd like to thank you for being here. We're now at uh, the resolutions on our consent agenda. Um, I will read the ones that are on consent and you can tell me if any need to be pulled. The only one I have right now that is not on consent is RS 2015-1400. Um, RS 2015-389 authorizes the Department of Law to compromise and settle the lawsuits brought by Pamela DeSoto against Metro government and certain employees in the amount of $295,000. 1404 appropriates $1,996,600 from the undesignated fund balance of the general fund and the fleet management fund for the benefit of the police department, state trial courts, emergency management codes, district attorney, general services, and administrative functions. 1405 approves the seventh amendment to the state contract for reimbursement of expenses resulting from the May 2010 flood. 1406 approves a renewal of an intergovernmental agreement between the U.S. Corps of Engineers and the Metro Police Department for the use of extra duty police officers. 1407 approves a grant from the State Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health for tobacco use prevention services. 1408 approves an intergovernmental agreement between the State Department of Health and the Metro Board of Health to review the sudden deaths of children. 1409 approves an amendment to an agreement between Vanderbilt University and the Metro Board of Health to participate in a member site as a member site for tuberculosis consortium studies. 1410 approves an application for a state grant to the Metro Historical Commission to hire a consultant to complete a master plan for the Two Rivers Mansion, mansion and Grounds. 1411 approves an application for a state grant to the Metro Historical Commission to hire a consultant to complete a master plan for the Kellytown Native American Archaeological Site. 1412 authorizes the Department of Law to settle the lawsuits brought, brought by Clarice Sweat against Metro Government and Metro Police Officer Joe Shelton in the amount of $50,000. 1413 approves the election of notaries public in Davidson County. 1414 requests the Davidson County delegation of the Tennessee General Assembly to support legislation to allow metropolitan government to use solid waste generation fees to pay for material recovery and processing. Do any of the ones on the consent agenda need to be pulled? Seeing none, I will need committee reports. Council Member Garrett. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. 1389, 1404, 1405, 1406, 1407, 1408, 1409, and 1410, 1411, and 1412 were all approved by budget finance 11 and 0, ma'am. Thank you. Council Member Gilmore. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Health, Hospitals, and Social Services Committee uh, approved 1407, 1408, and 149. Four approved and zero against. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Bennett. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Parks approved both 1410 and 1411 for four, zero against. Thank you. Council Member Bedney. Yes, Vice Mayor. Uh, planning approved uh, 1410 and 1411, 740 against. Thank you. Council Member Perdue. Public safety approved 1406440 against. Thank you. Council Member Anthony Davis. Thank you. Public Works approved 1414440 and zero against. Thank you. Council Member Harmon. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Rules confirmations and public elections uh, approved 2015-1413. Three in favor, none opposed, and I would move approval of the consent agenda. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. We will go to the one not on the consent agenda. It's RS 2015-1400. Declares May 14, 2015 as Stand with Israel Day in Nashville, Tennessee. Council Member Stites. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I think we have committee reports in, so I move approval. 
I would move the substitute. Uh, my apologies. Uh, we have a motion and a second on the substitute. All in favor of the substitute, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Substitute passes. Council Member Sykes. I would move as substitute. Have a motion and a second. All in favor of the bill as substituted, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Uh, we're now at bills on introduction and first reading. Do any of these need to be pulled for separate consideration? Seeing none, is there a motion for their approval? We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Um, bills on second reading, Bill 2015-1016 amends the Metro Code to require building and demolition permit holders for major projects to post a sign on the property providing information about the development. Councilmember Harrison. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee report, please. Councilmember Dow. Thank you. Codes Fair and Farmers Market Committee voted to pass 440 against. Thank you, Councilmember Harris. How will I move for approval? I have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1042 approves the renewal of a ground lease between Metro Gov Government and Eckerd Corporation. Councilmember Langster. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Are there any committee reports? Three. Councilmember Bednick. Yes, Vice Mayor. Uh, planning approved at 740 against. Councilmember Anthony Davis. Thank you. Public Works approved 44 and 0 against. Thank you. Councilmember Garrett. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Budget and Finance approved 11 and 0, ma'am. Thank you. Councilmember Langster. Thank you. Move approval with a short comment. We have a motion and a second. Councilmember Langster. I would like to say this um, Eckert Corporation has been a good neighbor in the 21st District as well as countywide, and I strongly uh, ask for your approval. Thank we you. have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2014-897 changes 23.87 acres from R10 to RS10 zoning for various properties located along Auburn Lane, Dartmouth Avenue to Lane Court at Woodmont Lane, south of Woodmont Boulevard. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I would move to defer two meetings, please. Uh, uh, we have a motion and a second. For a two-meeting deferral, all in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1004 changes 155 acres from R10 to RS10, zoning for various properties located along Amelia Court, Amelia Drive, Ashlawn Circle, Ashlawn Court, Ashlawn Drive, Ashworth Circle. Ashgrove Drive, Ashmont Circle, Ashmont Drive, Bell Road, Best Court South, Benzing Road, Brookview Estates Drive, Brook Drive, Eulala Dr Drive, Janice Drive, Jerry Court, Josephine Court, Lou Court, Michelle Court, Ocola Drive, Roxanne Court, Roxanne Drive, Sioux Court, Sioux Drive, Tusculum Road, and Yoist Circle. Council Member Bedding. Yes, Vice Mayor, I think we have a substitution. Okay, committee reports. It's you. It's me. So uh, I'm just going to have double personality. And uh, it was approved at the planning and zoning, 740 against. Thank you. And you want to move the substitute? I, I want to move the substitute, please. We have a motion and a second on the substitute. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Substitute passes. Council Member Bedney. I move to approve. We have a motion and a second on the bill is substituted. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Thank you. Motion passes. Yes. BL 2015-1023 changes 0.4 acres from CS to SP zoning for properties at 1614 and 1616 4th Avenue North to permit up to seven detached residential dwelling units. Council Member Gilmore. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Bedney. 
Thank you. Uh, planning and zoning approved at 740 against. Thank you. Council Member Gilmore. Thank you. Move for approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1024 changes 1.23 acres from RS-20 to RS-30, zoning for property located at 4008 Iroquois Avenue. Councilmember Evans. Sorry, Madam Vice Mayor, constituent conversation. <laughs> um, I uh, um, move approval, please. Uh, Councilmember Bedney. Oh. Yes, uh, the Planning and Zoning Commission approved it 740 against. Thank you, Councilmember Evans. Now I move approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1025 changes 3.52 acres from RS-15 to SP zoning for property located at 5572 South New Hope Road to permit up to 13 single family dwelling units. Council Member Glover. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Bedning. I feel the job. Uh, uh, planning and zoning approved the 740 against. Thank you, Council Member Glover. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I move approval with the brief explanation. We work with the community out here, the developer, and got everything done. So, so we I'm have sorry. a motion I, and a second, sorry, Councilman. Vice uh, anyway, I appreciate your support tonight. Thank you. We will need a machine vote. <clears throat> Madam Clerk, please close the machine and tally the vote. I have 31 for, none against, one abstention. Motion passes. Next is BL 2015-1026, changes 0.4 acres from R6 to SP zoning for property located at 1618 4th Avenue North to permit up to eight residential dwelling units. Council Member Gilmore. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports. Council Member Bedning. Uh, planning and zoning approved this 740 against. Council Member Gilmore. Thank you. Move for approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1027 changes 2.34 acres from CS to SP zoning for property located at Elliott Avenue unnumbered, approximately 340 feet west of Franklin Pike, to permit a multi-family development containing up to 200 dwelling units. Council Member Moore. Committee reports. Council Member Bedney. Thank you. Uh, planning and zoning approved is 740 against. Thank you, Council Member Moore. Uh, I do have a, a brief, I move for approval. We have and a I motion have... and a second, Council Member. I just want to say, I just want to say thank you to my council colleagues and the viewing audience and my neighbors in uh, District 17. I want to thank you for your concerns and your comments that you sent to me on this project. Of course, you know, the zoning process is never easy and often difficult and you do the best that you can. Uh, changes have been made, you know, after hearing the requests of the neighbors, uh, the planning department and commission and council to this project. And so again, I move for approval on this project. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. no. We will need a machine vote. <laughs> Madam Clerk, please close the machine and tally the vote. I have 27 for, three against, one abstention. Motion passes. Next is BL 2015-1028, amends 85.5 acres of commercial plan unit development overlay districts for properties located at 7614A, 7614B, 7616, 7620, 7624, 7632, and 7634 Highway 70 Southwest of Sawyer Brown Road to permit a mixed-use development. Council Member Weiner. Committee reports, please. Council Member Bedney. Planning and zoning approved at 740 against. Thank you, Council Member Weiner. Move approval. Have a motion and a second. 
All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1025 changes 0 .08 acres from R8 to CS zoning for property located O'Brien Avenue unnumbered, approximately 130 feet west of White Bridge Pike. Council Member Langster. Thank you, Madam Vice. Vice Mayor, on behalf of my colleague, uh, Councilman Buddy Baker, I'd like to move approval. Councilmember Bedney. Yes, the Planning and Zoning Commission approved the 740 against. Thank you, Councilmember Langster. Thank you for that uh, committee report, and I do move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Without objection, we can take 1030 and 1037 together. 1030 cancels 124.82 acres of the planned unit development properties located at Cane Ridge Road and numbered on the east side of Cane Ridge Road. Uh, 1037 changes 291 acres from AR2A and SCR to SP zoning for properties located at 3135 and 3185 Old Franklin Road, 5570 and 5580 Cane Ridge Road and Cane Ridge Road unnumbered west of Interstate 24 to permit a mixed use development. Council Member Dow. Thank you. Committee reports. Council Member Bedney. Yes, thank you. Uh, both 1030 and 1037 pass uh, 740 against. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Council Member Dow. Move for approval. You have a substitute on 1037 you need to move first. I wasn't aware of a substitute. The planning commission I believe the substitute incorporates the final conditions that the Planning Commission recommended. Uh, Mr. Bernhardt can elaborate on that. Mr. Bernhardt? No, that's correct. That rec recognizes the changes that the uh, applicant made. It uh, was the, what was approved on consent by the Planning Commission with those conditions. Thank you. Well, I'll move the substitute. How about that? Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor of the substitute, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The substitute for 1037 passes. Council Member Dow. And now I'll move the bill for approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. 1037 and 1030 pass. Thank you. Next is 2015-1032, applies a contextual overlay to various properties located along Greenwood Avenue, Rosebank Avenue, Skyview Drive, Walters Avenue, Shady Lane, Powers Avenue, McCrane Street, Tillman Lane, Washington Avenue, Eastland Avenue, Groves Park Road, Urban Place, Wilsonwood Place, Hackberry Lane, and North 20th Street. Council Member Westerholm. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Committee report. Council Member Bedney. Yes, uh, planning and zoning approved the 740 against. Thank you, Council Member Westerheim. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Uh, I'd like to move to defer for two meetings with a brief expl explanation. We have a motion and a second for a two meeting deferral. Council Member Westerheim. Well, thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Just wanted to state for the record uh, that uh, once again, I have a lot of appreciation for all the hard work that's gone into this. Uh, not only have I been sponsoring this, but I've been able to. Uh, move this forward without any charge to the neighbors. And we are very close to having this uh, bill in its final form. Uh, with that said, when I've met back with some of the folks organizing this process over the weekend, there were a couple of areas, very few, but a couple of areas where there has not yet been feedback. And for those of the, who have been sending emails expressing their support, I, would, uh, I have responded to as many of you as I can. I will continue responding to the remainder of those folks. But uh, the area that, that uh, you're interested in is safe, it is secure, it is going to be included. Because this has gone through, there's no danger of any uh, properties uh, 
suffering because of the pending legislation that is before us. Uh, so with that, I would just uh, renew the, my support for this bill, my support to move it forward in two meetings, but there is there are a few properties on the very north end and on, on, on the far east end where I think it, it uh, merits some additional confirmation with neighbors to make sure they are ready to be included at this point in time. And with that, I'll renew my motion. All in favor of a two-meeting deferral, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1033 changes 0.34 acres from RS5 to SP zoning for properties located at 519 and 521 Weekly Avenue to permit up to four residential dwelling units. Council Member Harrison. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee report, please. Council Member Bedney. Uh, yes, planning and zoning approved at 740 against. Thank you, Council Member Harrison. Thank you, uh, Vice Mayor and uh, ladies and gentlemen of the Council. I sure appreciate it if I could get your support on this particular bill. Uh, uh, this is a bill that's, uh, uh, after approved, will be a unique uh, concept for a neighborhood that has been in decline for quite some time. Uh, we have the support of the community, and uh, we sure would appreciate it if I could get your vote. I need a motion. So I'm re renewing my motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? We have a motion and a second. We'll need a machine vote. Madam Clerk, please close the machine and tally the vote. I have 33 for, none against. Thank you. Motion passes. BL 2015-1034 changes 0.34 acres from R6 to SP zoning for properties at 1505 and 1507 Holly Street to permit up to five dwelling units on three lots, including two lots with one or two family dwelling units within a str single structure on each lot and one lot with a single family dwelling unit. Council Member Westerholm. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Bedney. Yes, thank you. The Planning and Zoning Committee approved the 740 against. Thank you. Council Member Westerheim. With all committee reports in, I'll move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1035 applies the provisions of a contextual overlay district to two acres of property located at 4800, 4801, 4802, 4803, 4805, 4806, 4809, 4808, 4810, 4811, Michigan Avenue and Michigan Avenue unnumbered between 48th Avenue North and 49th Avenue North. Council Member Langster. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. On behalf of my council um, partner, um, Mr. Buddy Baker, uh, are there any committee reports? Council Member Bedney. I run as much as I as I can. Uh, the Planning and Zoning Committee approved the 740 against. Thank you, Council Member Langster. I move for approval, please. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1036 amends the Metro Zoning Code to prohibit clubs as a use in the Office ON, OL, OG, and ORI zoning districts. Council Member Bennett. Committee reports, please. Council Member Bedney. Yes, thank you. The Planning and Zoning Commission voted to uh, approve 740 against. Thank you, Council Member Bennett. Move approval. We we'll have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. <laughs> motion passes. <Thank> you. <laughs> I, I love an enthusiastic vote like that. Uh, BL 2015-1038 amends the Metro Zoning Code pertaining to the conditions applicable to boat storage facilities. Council Member Stites. Thank you. Uh, committee reports? Uh, Council Member Bedney. The Planning and Zoning Commission voted to defer by Rule 740 against. Thank you. Council Member Stites. I think that sounds like a really good idea. I'll in <laughs> <laughs> Is there a motion to defer? 
Okay. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2015-1040 authorizes Nashville Downtown Partnership to install, construct, and maintain an automated bike kiosk encroaching the public right-of-way at 2101 Belmont Boulevard. Council Member Allen. Move for approval, please. <laughs> Council, we have a motion and a second. Scott Davis, you want to speak on that? Okay. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2015-1041, adopts the Geographic Information System Street and Alley Center Line layer as the official street and alley acceptance and maintenance record for Metro Government. Council Member Anthony Davis. Thank you, all committees in. I would like to move approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All in favor, please say aye. 